Hello everyone and happy Transfer Tuesday. This is the final Transfer Tuesday of May and I plan on making it a little bit bigger than it has been, but we do need to go through the things that I've done since last Tuesday. Now, as usual, the only two things that I'll be doing today are investments and paying off debt or really saving for my debt, my student loans. But I'm gonna start with investments. So on May 21st, I got a $30 referral through M1 Finance and that purchase, that buy actually went through on May 24th. I love seeing when I have a referral come through. This has been pretty consistent for the last several weeks. I have gotten at least one every week. And if you use my referral, you get $30 after you invest 100 and then I receive $30. So it is a, you know, a simple way to support me if you're interested in exploring a new investing platform or exploring an easy way to invest. So that did go through, very exciting. Thank you so much to anybody who has used my referral. Uh, the All of this that you see in my portfolio, I'll put my screenshot up on the screen. This is all from referrals. And then of course it grew a little bit by 51 due to the stock market. But right now it's at $1,312.35 and at the time of me filming this which is really good. This is all in VTI. That's what I choose to have all of my referrals automatically invest in. I don't really have to pay attention to anything. It just goes in there. And I plan on just letting that sit and make a decision with what I wanna do with it in the future. Now, as for my student loans, if you are new here, I am currently just saving for my student loans in M1 Spend, which is earning 1% APY. And the reason I'm doing this is because student loans are in forbearance and at 0% interest through September and then come September I will make a lump sum payment or see what's going on with student loans. As of right now, I did see that Biden is not really going to move forward with student loan forgiveness on his end. He really wants Congress to push that through, so I don't really know. That's really the only thing that I pay attention to in regards to that but there is still a possibility of student loan forgiveness, student loans being wiped out to some certain extent. And I am not relying on that, but in the meantime, it's 0% interest. So at least I'm gaining a little bit in my little savings account. So I just save toward that every week. And I have quite a few transfers to go through. So I'm just gonna put them on the screen. Actually, it's gonna be that way, I think. I'm gonna put them on the screen and run through where these came from and starting from the bottom. So I actually did another transfer on Tuesday, last Tuesday after filming though, it was like later in the evening because I realized more money came through than I remembered. So I checked my bank account and the cash that I redeemed from my Chase Freedom Flex card went through. So that was $17.20. So I did go ahead and make that transfer on Tuesday. And then of course, later that day, or I don't know, the next day, Brandon, who is the star of my Transfer Tuesdays here, he sent me $15 through the platform Buy Me A Coffee. It's just a support platform after the fees that came, that always comes down to $13.51 when he gives me $15. And so I did make that transfer. Thank you so much, Brandon. And we, that is not the only one, but that's gonna come up in just a second. And then the same day on Wednesday, May 19th, I transferred $43.59 because I was able to cash out from the app Ibotta again. Honestly, I think this may have been a mistake of some sort. I'm not really sure, but I don't know. I, I did see that some referrals went through and I got a couple of bonuses, but I'm not sure where all of this money came from or if it's accurate. They haven't said anything to me since. So I, I did go ahead and just transfer that over, but I bought it as just a coupon app. I do have my referral link always linked down below. 43.59 transferred that. Then Friday, I transferred $13.19 and this came from Bank of America cash rewards. So I literally, I was, I've been getting cash rewards for my credit cards all month, uh, all of my credit cards, it's pretty amazing. And I do have a video that, my video that I put up on Friday explains how to make the most out of your credit cards, especially if you're somebody who doesn't spend too much money like myself. So $13.19 from that card. And again, this morning, Brandon sent me 15. He got a head start on Transfer Tuesday and transferred me $15 to there. So thank you so much again, Brandon. So that went down to $13.51. I did go ahead and transfer that, that was like, I don't know, an hour ago I made these transfers. Also today, I like to do everything separate so I can tell you all where it's coming from and just, I, I don't know, it's more satisfying for me because it's like, oh, another transfer, another transfer. Just because not paying down debt actively is 
disappointing. Like it's just not very fun anymore. Um, it's just saving for it, which is so great obviously, but it doesn't feel as satisfying. So me getting to make multiple transfers feels a lot better. That's why I do that. But then $3.14, what did this come from? Be Frugal, the website Be Frugal, which I also talked about in my video that I uploaded on Friday, that'll be linked down below. This is just a coupon website and I actually didn't realize I had cash back in it, but when I was getting the links to put in that video description box, I realized I had $3.14 to cash out. So make sure you check those, those things that you have because it doesn't typically automatically pay you unless you set it up that way. So I did transfer that. And then $10 I received from affiliate payout. This was literally from probably October <laughs> or November. And I, I don't know, the company was like, not very communicative and they like just recently asked for me to fill out the w9 form or whatever was required and i did have ten dollars in there so that's not much so i did just go ahead and put that all in here and what i'm gonna do today before i make this transfer let me say that last week i ended my transfer tuesday with three thousand thirty dollars and ten cents in this account obviously i made these transfers so you know it's over 3200 at this point and we're gonna make another transfer if you watch my videos regularly you know that my goal for the month of may was to put at least a thousand dollars to my student loan savings and since this is the final transfer tuesday i am going to hit that goal so th this is the same thing that i did last month i was able to make like a 500 dollars something transfer and it allowed me to reach my goal, which feels really good. So what I have left after everything that I've transferred, I've already this month I've already done $537 and 45 cents. I'm looking at my laptop, so that's why I'm looking down here. Um, so what I have left is $462.55 and that's what I'm gonna transfer right now. $462.55. This does bring my checking account very low. I do get paid on Friday, I'm not, I, my checking account always gets low because I'm a, very aware of my money and I don't have any bills due later on or if I do, it's like small ones like my electricity bill. Uh, it doesn't cause a problem for me because basically once I get paid, everything's all good and anyways, I deplete everything to be basically so it would be at zero, like as if it would be at zero once I get paid. I don't know if that makes sense, but a zero base budget basically. But this does bring my checking account quite low. We're just gonna do it though. So 462.55. Okay, that brings my total student loan savings to $3,606.79. And if we subtract that from my student loans, my student loan balance is currently at $36,000 even. That would bring me down to $32,393.21. So that is pretty exciting. I'm not sure if I'll be making any other transfers this month. Obviously I'll let you know on next Transfer Tuesday, but I may still have some room to work with for the rest of the month with the money I have left, but I'm still not sure yet. So we'll just take it day by day, but I'm pretty happy with that number over 3,600 and next month I probably should get hopefully over the $5,000 mark. I don't know, we'll see. That's my, um, that's what I'm gonna aim for. But of course I will discuss that in my budget video. So that is everything for my transfer Tuesday. And as always, please comment down below whatever it is that you did, any money moves you made to improve your finances. Thank you all so much for your support. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in my next one.